I'm not saying this to scare you, but here's why 99% of all beginner Amazon sellers simply fail. Now look, if this is your first time to this channel, consider subscribing because trust me, you will want to. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of exactly why 99% of Amazon sellers fail and why I actually personally failed when I first started. You see, you probably guessed it, experience. That's the very, very first thing. But you know what? I'm going to leave this last and I'm going to come back to it because there's a lot that goes into experience and why is that even important, right? But let's go into belief, right? And let me explain what I mean by that. You see, you and, and me and everybody else <clears throat> in the last decade and decade and a half, we've been seeing the whole flash you know, culture, right? The flex culture. And we've been seeing the guru culture and the guru industry come out of nowhere and just simply take over. You see, human beings um, have always, just always wanted to do better in life, right? They've like, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's human nature. Like by, by default, we want to accomplish great things in life. By default, we want more things in life. By default, we want to do good in life, right? Some of us want to do more and want more than others, right? And, and we understand ever since we were little kids, regardless if, if my parents, your parents, our grandparents, um, and even before them, we knew that in order for us to, you know, the, in order for us to do more or have more, we need to be uh, more valuable to society, right? Because a doctor makes more money than a, say, a burger flipper at Amazon because the doctor provides more value to society than a burger flipper, right? So therefore, society uh, uh, rewards the doctor more than they would reward the burger flipper, right? So up until, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, um, colleges had a, a monopoly on the skill building or the value building, right? So... Up until 20, 30 years ago, everybody was taught that in order for you to make more in life or have more in life, you need to go to school, you need to, to, to get a degree. Now, again, what kind of degree? You know, the more ambitious went for the engineering and the doctors and the lawyers and all this other stuff. Uh, the less ambitious went for the less stuff, you know, maybe just get a, uh, an associate's or a bachelor's and whatever, right? And try to get a 50 to, you know, $70,000 a year job, right? But still, anything over 60,000, you have completely covered your basic needs and your survival mode. And anything on top of that is extra. So if you're making $75,000 a year, that's great money, right? So 10, 20 years ago, or really 10 years ago, the whole guru thing started coming out and you started seeing little kids running around Instagram and Lamborghinis and all that. And it just over the last five, 10 years, a lot of people have been brainwashed, brainwashed with this thing called online business that you could literally build anything from nothing and you can become a millionaire overnight and drive a Lamborghini. Well, that's false. That's just not true. And if that's who you are, please unsubscribe from this channel and please go somewhere else because that's not what we are about, right? So the belief system is very weak because you see up until now, you've been taught and you've been told that you need to go to a four year you know, school, you need to go to do this and you need to literally like, I don't know, do backflips for you to get a bachelor's degree to get a decent job. You need to spend tens of thousands of dollars where now you got a bunch of gurus telling you for like, $500 in like two hours a week, you know, you could make 1 million. It's like, wait, what? What are you talking about? And although deep down, you really don't want to believe it, but our lazy side kicks in and says, okay, I want that, you know? And I know I got subscribed to that, you know, five, six, seven years ago when I first started my online journey. And I was looking at a bunch of kids running around and I was 25 years old guy that had just, you know, that at that point I had probably ran three or four businesses, you know, dealt with millions of dollars in transactions and had, you know, managed tens of employees and, and, and I had just hit rock bottom and lost everything. And then there you had a little kid in a tank top and whatever driving Lamborghini. And I'm like, 
what am I doing wrong here, right? So there is that belief system that deep down, you don't really believe in the concept, right? And so your effort isn't really as much as it should be, you know? And you are just waiting for the little thing to happen and just say, oh, yep, I know it was a scam. I know it was a scam. And then just throw the white towel and then just, you know, bolt, right? So the belief system is not there. You're not 100% sold on the idea that this could truly become a real business, that this is a real business, that this can truly change my life. You are not 100% sold. Therefore, you're not putting your foot on the gas and just going all the way. You're kind of like, you know, tapping and it's like, like almost looking for a reason to bolt, right? So that's the very first thing here. And this is big because it all starts in your mind. Millionaires and billionaires become millionaires and billionaires here before their bank accounts. There was actually, uh, uh, love them or hate them, I saw an interview by Donald Trump a couple of weeks ago, and I've talked about this in, in previous videos. He said that he had a friend many years ago. He's like, you know, this friend didn't have it all, and, and, and like, who was coming up, he was trying to make it, but he's like, this guy would never travel anywhere unless it was in first class. And I used to always tell him, like, dude, all this money that you're spending in first class, you can reinvest back in your business or back into your, you know, your family, whatever. Like, what are you doing? And he's like, you know what? When I sit in first class, I believe that I've made it. I just feel differently. Like right now that I'm talking about it, I'm getting goosebumps. I feel differently. You know, I feel like that I'm really there. And he's like, five, 10 years later, this guy became a multi-billionaire. And he's like, I believe that that thing was the thing that truly helped him get there because he was believing. His mind was there, although his bank account wasn't there. Your mind needs to say that I am going to change my life with Amazon FBA or with dropshipping or with crypto or whatever it is, that, the vehicle that you're trying to get into. But in this case, we're going to talk about Amazon FBA. And that's the biggest reason why 99% of beginner sellers fail because they don't believe in the concept. They don't believe that in themselves. They don't believe that they can actually truly do it, right? And maybe they don't even believe in the person that's teaching them. Now, look, if you're enjoying this content so far, if this is your first time, consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button and also drop your comments below. Let us know what questions you have about this topic. So let's go to, the, to number three and then we'll jump to number two here, right? So expectations. I'm gonna go back to the Lambo Guru, and I know I'm I'm, I'm really you know drilling pretty hard on these guys, um, and you know it's partially their fault, but it's partially your fault as well. Because again, going back to what the norm is and what they've made it look like, and these two just don't just don't combine together. Because again, for you to become a, for you to up until 10, 15 years ago, for you to do good in life. You needed to become a doctor. I got sold on the idea 10 years ago by my mom that I needed to be a doctor and I started taking biochem and I even, I don't know where, what happened to it. I even had a white coat lab or lab coat, I think that's what it's called, with my name on it. And what is it, stethoscope? I think that's what it's called, the thing where you put on your ears with my signature on it, right? Um, and like I was living it, you know? So um, this was the thing that, People believe that, okay, if you want to do better in life, you need to become a doctor, you need to become a lawyer. But for you to do that, there is four years of undergrad, there is four years of, of grad school, and then there is three to four years or two to four years of residency, whether if you're a doctor, even if you're a lawyer, you're going to work under somebody. So it's like a decade and a half of just learning and figuring shit out. And then maybe you're going to do six figures a year. And then for you to go to multiple six figures, it's like another five, 10 year experience. So, and, and I haven't, even, I didn't even talk about the cost. That's going to cost you like half a million dollars. So here they're telling you that you could, you know, with $500 or a thousand dollars, $2,000 buy my course and I can turn you into a millionaire in six months. So you're just sitting there like, wait, this makes no sense. So these two clash together, right? So your expectations from this to becoming a doc or a lawyer right, became this, online business, right? So here it's like 200 to 500K, you know, eight to 12 years. And here they're telling you it's like 500 to 1K and you could do it in like, you know, two to six months, right? And then you could do five times, five to 10 times 
more than what these guys could do. And you're just like, wait a second, what? Okay, all right, cool. All right, so you go into it with like, with the mindset of like, okay, this is, you know, this is simple. I'm gonna need, I don't know, 500 to, you know, 500 to maybe 2K. And then time, I'm gonna need, I don't know, for two hours a week. Let's say, let's say you're, you're a hustler, you're gonna put in five hours a week. Five hours a week, right? So you combine these two, these two, you combine the misbelief, and then I haven't even talked about experience. How the hell are you gonna succeed? There's just no way. There's just no way. You know, I get the question a lot. Bashar, what is the, what is the, what is the minimum? Like, I, I love, I love this question. What is the least amount of time I can put into to be successful? What is the least amount of time that I could put, uh, you know, the least amount of money that I can invest to make $10,000 a month? I'm just like, dude, fuck off. Like, when I get that question, I just say, fuck off. And sorry for my language, but when people ask how long, how many hours should I be investing to making my business successful, I'm like, every waking moment. Like we say minimum 10 to 15 hours, but honestly, deep down, every time we say that, we're like, we're like biting our tongue. Because, dude, it might take 30 hours. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but for you, you should put in mind that I'm gonna invest every single waking hour to making this thing work. It's your own business. A lot of you watching or wanting to start an online business probably have a job and you're probably at least putting in 40 hours a week. So it's like if you're going to give someone else 40 hours to build their company, why are you only going to give yourself to building your company 5, 10, 15 hours a week? Why not give it 80 hours a week? And trust me, you have it. You have it. Like, don't say it's not possible. It's definitely possible. But see, it all starts here. If you say it's, po it's not possible, then you're absolutely right. It's not possible. But if you say it's possible, then it is possible. One quote or one thing that I, one of the biggest things that I learned from uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, the book by Robert Kiyosaki. He said, Rich Dad always told him, don't use the phrase, I can't afford it. Always use the phrase, how can I afford it? Because when you say, I can't do something, you're right. You absolutely are right. If you say, I can't do it, you're absolutely right, you can't. But if you say, how can I? And you know deep down that, you know, you've got some type of a limitation, right? Like for me, it's like, let's, you know, like right now I, 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 uh, I get on the treadmill six days a week and uh, I run a mile, you know, and then I'm jogging, you know, and I usually do it in, uh, I don't know, like I think 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes or something like that. But I'm not trying to do it any earlier. <clears throat> so for me, if I was like, how can I do, you know, the, if somebody came to me and said, can you do, um, a mile on five minutes. I could answer two ways. I could say, no, I can't because I can't. Because I do it in nine, how the hell am I gonna do it in, in five? Or I could say, right now I can't, but I wonder how can I do it? And then what that does is that opens up a whole, not, like your brain just goes to a whole nother place and then you start, okay, well, you know, I can train, let's say, let's set a timeline. Okay, so let's say, let's get it done in, in 90 days, right? And then I'll look at my diet, I'll look at my exercise, and I'll start adjusting this, and then do more of this, do less of it. But see, if, had I said I can't, I wouldn't have gone through all that. So if you said, you know, if, if you say that I can't invest 20 hours per week to build my Amazon business, you absolutely can't. You're definitely right, you can't. But if you say, how can I? Okay. Well, then we're going to say, let's pull up your schedule. How many hours do you work? There's nothing we can do about that, right? How many hours do you sleep? There's nothing we can do about that. Let's, let's take some time for family, friends, hanging out, whatever, eating, showering. And then let's look at the other time. And I'm pretty sure there's a decent chunk there, about 20 to 40 hours per week minimum for every single one of you. Minimum. I want to say 30 to 50 hours where it's blank. It's either social media. It's either you know, uh, uh, looking at uh, watching Netflix, it's whatever it is. We take that and then we convert it into learning how to sell on Amazon, right? So time and then money. The other thing, again, the average business, the average traditional business requires 50K to 200K to get off the ground. Yet yeah, you're being told that with $500 or $2,000, look, we tell people five, $6,000. 
And honestly, I think we're being conservative. I think we should really be saying minimum 10,000. If you don't got 10,000, don't even do it, right? But we tell people $6,000, you have a decent chance at doing it, right? But if I was being completely honest, don't do it if you don't have 10,000, right? So especially if you're gonna have someone help you, or if you're not, and if you're gonna go through trial and error, then you should have more than that because you need like, I don't know, a few thousand dollars just for, for waste because you're gonna waste it on products that are gonna be duds and, and launches that are not gonna do anything, right? So $50,000, $200,000 is the average traditional business. The average good degree costs more than that, more than that. It might be, you know, probably cost you some close to this per year from what I've heard. I've never been to law school. I've never been to middle school. So if I'm completely like, you know, just not, you know, mumbling or saying things that are not true, please correct me in, in the comment section. But from my understanding that it costs at least 200K, if not, to, you know, if not this much per year, right? But I know it's not going to cost less than 200,000. I know a law degree and a medical uh, degree is not going to cost less than $200,000. I know that's, that, I know that to be true because I was looking to become a, uh, a, a, a doctor and it was going to cost me about 150 to 250, right? So this is what traditional business or degree will do, yet you're being told that you need $500, $2,000 or $3,000. So you're coming in with two, $3,000 and then you're coming in with two, $3,000 and then it doesn't work, right? Because you run out of money because you order 200 units you launch, it takes two weeks for Amazon to, to give you your money. You need more money to buy more inventory so that you don't run out of stock until Amazon pays you again. And then you run out and then you sit and then you're like, oh, I lost everything, right? So again, it's all about the expectations. How are, what are the expectations going into it? You know, how are you thinking, of, you know, what are you thinking about going in? How is your belief? How is your belief? And then now I want to cover experience, but before I do, Again, if you're new, subscribe to the channel because we drop content like this every single week. And let us know in the comments what do you think. And also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up because I think it's a decent video and I think you'll like it too. But one more thing before I move on. If you want to learn from us, and I'll explain why you should learn from somebody, whether if it's us or anybody else. But if you want to learn from us or if you want to even see what learning from us looks like, click the link to, below this video. It'll take you to a short presentation that breaks down to you what Amazon FBA is, what private label it is, and who BJK University is, and how it can help you. So be sure to check that link. So experience. Um, okay, let's go here. You go through eight to 10 years of learning, of learning, just learning, straight up learning, right? And you are a surgeon. We watch this show called The Good Doctor. I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what it is. And the first two years, you become a resident. Although, although you went through 10 years of learning pre-med, you know, uh, what is it called? Pre-med, I think it's called. Uh, undergrad, undergrad, and then medical school, and then all the stuff. Before they say, there we go, you're now a doctor, they're still going to put you under the supervision of other doctors. And there are so many restrictions for two years, in fact, minimum, minimum. You, I guess you need to pass some, some things for you to even become your, your own doctor, right? until you become a true doctor where you can go on your own. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Answer me this. Ask me that in the comments. Why is that? Simply because they don't trust you. Because you're dealing with human beings who can kill somebody. Because you don't have experience. Same thing to become a lawyer. Same thing, you know. It's like when you first come into a company. If you come into our company, we're not going to just say, there we go, go for it. We're going to let you train for months before we can let you go and tell you to do your thing. Because of experience, you'll lack experience. So why in the hell should it be any different with running your own business? Do you know why? Because it's as easy as one, two, three. Anybody can become an entrepreneur. Anybody can launch their own business. In my opinion, if it was up to me, I would create some type of a division that took every wannabe entrepreneur through a serial of training and a serial of exams, and they couldn't 
start operating their own business unless they passed that exam and whatever it is. When you go to get a driver license, you might already know how to, uh, uh, um, how to uh, um, drive, but you still go and take an exam because you might go out there and kill somebody. When you become a police officer, you go through training and then they call you, you know, there's another show that we watch. It's called The Rookie. Maybe you guys have seen it. A rookie is usually a rookie for, I think it's like a probation, a probation, pro, wow, I can't even pronounce, probationary, I think that's how you pronounce it, for about one to two years. Although you went through the academy, you graduated, did all these things, they still are not going to just say, yep, you're a cop now. They're going to take you through and put you in a probationary, I can't even pronounce it, I'm just going to skip it, uh, where you're under the supervision of some other more seasoned cop. Why? Because you've got no experience and you can go and kill somebody. Or worse yet, put someone in jail that they shouldn't or even worse, not catch the right person and let them flee. Why should it be any different with running your own business? Why? Yet, 99% of Amazon sellers think they can just figure it out. Watch YouTube videos. Look, our channel is, I, I want to say, it's probably the most valuable channel when it comes to selling on Amazon. Can you learn exactly how to sell on Amazon flawlessly from our channel? No. Although we give you details, although we give you everything, but one thing, it's that it's not in chronological order. And for you trying to sit and piece the pieces, put the pieces together, it will take you months. Where this, because you don't know. Like, one favorite saying that I have is, you don't know what you don't know, right? You might think there's only five steps to a process, but what if there's a sixth step? What if there's a seventh step? You'll go and say, okay, perfect all those five steps, but if you're missing step six or missing number seven, or maybe number seven is number two or number four, or whatever it is, you, you don't know what you don't know, right? And it's like, look, someone else has done it before you, why go through trial and error? Why not piggyback on someone else's experience? This is not me promoting BJK University and saying that you should enroll in BJK University, which you definitely should if you're thinking about selling on Amazon. It's not cheap though. But this is me saying you should learn from somebody. Wow, keep burping, sorry. This is you, this is me telling you that you need to learn from somebody, right? That's all what I'm telling you. So again, experience, it's the worst one. It's literally the worst one. It's the reason why <clears throat> I lost in my, in my uh, uh, restaurant business. It is, there's a reason why when my restaurant burned down, obviously I didn't cause the fire, but <clears throat> if I had insurance, I would have been able to be back in business in a couple of weeks, maybe a month. But I never got back in business because I had no insurance. And why did I not have insurance? Because it was $750 a month and I couldn't afford to pay it. Well, why could I not afford to pay it? Because I didn't know how to run the restaurant. Therefore, didn't have enough money. Therefore, couldn't pay the insurance. Therefore, when the fire happened, could not repair because there was no insurance. Therefore, I lost half a million dollars, came out of it 150K in debt, right? So, and, and again, I did it again. When I launched my Amazon business, I launched three products, borrowed money, did all that without any, without any long knowledge. I was watching YouTube videos and then launched three products, lost another seven, eight thousand dollars of borrowed money. And then it wasn't until I bought my first course and my second course and a mastermind and that thing and started learning from this guy and that guy and put all of it together. And then went at it for three years and scaled and made millions of dollars and launched tens and hundreds of products, right? So again, this is where the experience comes in play. And you can't just, like, you can't just learn experience from what we have seen here. You'll go through law school, you'll go through medical school, you'll become a, a, a cop. You'll learn how to do the thing, but you still need to get generate experience. So it's the same thing. Just because you enroll in BJK University and go through the program doesn't mean you're a professional seller now. You still have to launch your first product and launch your second product. Your second product launch will be better than your first launch. And your third will be better than your second. Your fourth will be better than your third. It's experience. You just got to keep gaining it. And this goes back down to expectations. You need to expect to invest money. You need to expect to invest time. And then you need to have belief in yourself that you can make it happen because it all truly starts here. If this doesn't exist, none of this matters. None of this matters. It all starts with here and here. And if you don't believe in yourself, 
We've got a big problem here. Hope this video found you well. Love you guys, appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. Also, click the link below this video if you want to learn from us. I will see you in the next one. Take care.